Hi, I'm Alex. I studied law at the University of Exeter down in the Cornwall campus. I am now a barrister. I specialise in public law. I practice out of Outer Temple Chambers. My practice is predominantly in public law, which is the type of law which involves actions against the state. I've represented torture victims, um, LGBT asylum seekers who are being sent back to countries where it's uh, a crime to be who they are. Uh, representing these sort of people and being their voice when they're not able to be uh, uh, heard is hugely uh, a privilege, a massive privilege. Uh, and I'm really excited to be able to do that area of work. Uh, it still blows my mind that I get paid to do it as well. Uh, at university, you learn all of the laws. Uh, it can appear quite uh, sterile sometimes when you're reading it from a textbook. But I think doing it in practice and meeting the people who it generally affects is amazingly um, exciting and humbling, actually. So my experiences at university taught me what the law was. My extracurricular activities at university taught me how it's applied. But it was only when I really got out there and did the job that I really appreciated just how important it is uh, to, to, to learn the law properly and to make sure it's applied adequately. So my defining um, memory of Exeter University was mooting. And mooting is a mock trial where you pretend to be a barrister, you put on a wig and, wig and gown uh, and conduct a case. Now it's in an appellant court, which means that it's all about the law, you don't deal with facts. It's hugely exciting though, because you get to firstly pretend to be a barrister, which is amazing. Um, secondly, you get really in depth ab about a particular area of law, which helps with your exams if that exam is in that area of law. Uh, and thirdly, it exposes you to the skills you'll need if you decide to pursue a career at the bar. Um, so I would highly recommend anyone considering a career at the bar, or indeed a career as a solicitor, to consider mooting. Uh, it's a type of debating and I would highly recommend it. Uh, so the bar is notoriously difficult to get into, um, and I think that is good because it shows just how great the job is because everyone wants to do it. Uh, the, the path into it is that after your degree you study for the BPTC, which is a year-long practical course in barrister skills effectively. You do skills such as conference or negotiation and advocacy, that sort of thing, for a year. After that you do what's called a pupillage, which is a type of apprenticeship with a barrister's set, which is like a company of barristers, but we all work together. Uh, you do that pupillage for a year, and then you're a fully qualified barrister. The bottleneck, as it were, is that pupillage stage. So last year, there were something like 450 pupillages on offer. Uh, there were over 4,000 applications for those tiny amount of spaces. So it's that, that sort of bottleneck that's the difficult bit to get through. Um, the paths in are pretty well known, I think, but there is a massive barrier in that it's very expensive to train to be a barrister. Um, all I could say is that there are scholarships available and that is a good thing because it's upwards of £18,000 to do the BPTC. If you get a scholarship from one of the Inns of Court, so Inner Temple, Middle Temple, Lincoln's Inn and Gray's Inn, that can really help because if you have your BPTC paid for, that removes the barrier of not being able to afford to get into the career. Um, and I know Barrister Chambers especially are doing a lot to make sure that people who aren't from a traditional background, like myself, can access the profession because it should be, I think, about whether you're good enough to be a barrister and not who your parents are or how much money you have. Uh, and that's very much something that uh, you will learn about at the University of Exeter. We did a lot of uh, careers stuff um, to do with how you get into the career. But all I would say is, having done it myself, if I can do it, other people can. So you'll hear a lot of advice when you are coming up to be a barrister. My biggest bit of advice would be not to listen to every single piece of advice, to take it with a pinch of salt. Um, that being said, my experience is uh, as follows, I guess, that you get told to do mini pupillages, which is a type of work experience. It's a placement, basically, in a barrister's chambers. Uh, you get told to do quite a lot of them. My advice would be to find an area of law that you're relatively interested in, and do maybe one or two or three even uh, mini pupillages. It, it doesn't even have to be for a full week. You can ask Chambers to do a one or two day work experience. Uh, that will give you a taste of what the job actually entails because this job might appear quite glamorous at first, but actually the reality of it can be quite challenging. And seeing it in practice in a mini pupillage, I think is the best way to experience what you're going to be doing 
uh, if you choose to quit, uh, pursue this career. So I say there are three opportunity routes, as it were, to getting into a career at the bar. The first is scholarships, so you can apply to the Inns of Court for money to do the qualifying course. The second is work experience. Lots of barrister chambers offer a week-long or shorter uh, work experience. And the third is networking. So the University of Exeter, I know, offers networking opportunities uh, because I go to them and I've been to them when I was a student. You can meet barristers and solicitors if that's your um, desired career path and find out what their job actually is like, which is hugely beneficial because you can then decide as to whether you want their life in the future.